You're listening to Why You Suck in Bed on the Glory Hall Radio Network, gloryholeradio.com. Why don't we have normal people on the show? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Days, guys. <laughs> I almost jumped in with Sorry. the welcome, motherfucker. You know what? We're both on our laptops. I know. You know what, though? Like, I'm so in the holiday spirit. I've been looking up dirty Christmas carols that I could sing. <laughs> no as laughing. your boyfriend is dressed as an elf. No, 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 no. It's over. What? It's over. It's over. All we right, broke we up. We have no use for you then. Oh. I like this midget story. I know. It kind of sucks, but you know what? He cheated on me. What? I swear. I'm not making this shit I'm up. I'm sorry. It was me. So, no, it was with <laughs> a, it was another small person because he felt... <laughs> it's not funny. Breaking news. I know. I guess it's just karma because I said I was going to break up with him on last episode or end things. It is breaking news. So you want to know how I found out? Stupid son of a bitch. His iPhone was on the, on the table. He excused himself, got out of his toddler seat... <laughs> You know, his booster <laughs> seat at the restaurant, jumped down, went to the little boy's room. The one that clips on the table? Yes, or exa- no, it was one that clipped on the table. With the dangling yeah. feet. <laughs> so he left his stupid iPhone on the Did table. Use the baby bullet to feed him. <laughs> <laughs> you make two weeks worth of food for him? I do, I do. I put it in ice trays and put it in the freezer for him. Um, so uh, <laughs> we were sitting there. Anyway, he leaves to go use the restroom, and I looked at and whatever. I, I don't. I'm just minding my own business. All of a sudden, bloop, 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 on his iPhone, and I look, and the message comes up, so you could actually read the ma- like. I don't have yeah. an iPhone, whatever. And it says, "Hey, babe, when you coming over?" And I was like, "Okay, whatever. Could and be anywhere. Maybe his mom talks small him. Boobs. Not yet. Then <laughs> blah 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 again. When are you gonna ditch that bitch and come fuck me? Whoa. Ooh. When are you going to ditch?" That (laughs) bitch and come fuck me. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. So what did you do? I went into the men's room. I went in there. I slammed the door open. And the poor little guy. I felt so bad for him. There's a big black man next to him peeing in the urinal next to him. And I'm like hysterical. (laughs) How does he use the urinal? He's a little guy. Oh, yeah. You know, there's a step stool in there. I don't know. He was not. No, it's for children. You know the ones that you just pee down to the floor? The trough. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. It's not. Okay. (laughs) The communal trough. Yeah. So whatever. So I sit there and I look and I see black man. I see little midget man. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck am I doing? (laughs) But yet I'm infuriated. (laughs) Why is that? Now I'm circus. No, it is. No, because it's a fuck. A I, <laughs> no, wait. But in all honesty, I'm infuriated. This little fucking midget motherfucker is going to sit here and break up with me. And this bitch, whoever this bitch is, sitting here <laughs> texting him like this. I'm not a bitch. Ditch the bitch. So I go in and I go. Oh, well, you did it out. So you're breaking up with true, him. True, true. Maybe. Okay, so whatever. Okay, maybe I deserve what I got. I bust open the door. Black man turns around and goes, yo. And I'm like, whatever. Shut the fuck up, you know. So I go. Whatever his name is, and I'll, I'll keep it private. <laughs> Randolph. Yeah. I know, oh, right. I said it last time. I don't listen to our shows. God <laughs> damn it. I'm sorry, Rand- Randy. Um, anyway, so I say to him, I'm like, you left your iPhone on the table. And he's like, can you get out of here? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it's not like I haven't sucked your dick. I mean, give me a break, you know? And the black man goes, you suck that dick. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> too much going on. Let me focus. And you know me. I'm, I'm like all over the place. dick inside your pussy. Right. right. So, of course, <laughs> Oh my so, god! I haven't heard the story. I know. So Randy turns around and looks at me, and I'm just like, and, and whatever. I'm like, no, I want to know. I want to know who's this woman that's texting you. He goes, why did you look at my phone? I'm like, you don't leave an iPhone on a table. I'm like, you should have taken. Oh wait, the iPhone's bigger than you. That's right. <laughs> so now, now all the fucking it's no holds barred. <laughs> so now I'm going off on him. Black man's not leaving. He wants to say he's like, I want to stay and watch the shit. <laughs> I'm because I don't know his name. I never really. I apologize. <laughs> the man. Because, yes. because. Well, 
Why must he be of color? Because I'm giving you guys a visual. <laughs> big black man. Very good looking black Thanks man. The big cock. Little, the right. Big black cock. <laughs> then little white midget guy. You got the big black man. <laughs> who, by the way, is probably only 6'1". But you're talking to a four foot, you know. Get get the vis. You have big the visual. Black cock all over me, <laughs> slapping it around. Exactly. Do you have the? Vi- I have to give people the visual. Okay. okay. Because if I just say a man, you could think of any man. You might think of like yeah. you know whatever I, I William didn't know Shatner. If, if the black man was if if it was essential. I couldn't to the story. see because he wouldn't let me see his okay. cock. Ebony and ivory. You end right. up fucking the black man is what I'm getting. <laughs> well, I got his number. And ivory. Standing together in the perfect. perfect. Huh? Okay, so anyway, long, Randy basically tells me that <laughs> it was the fluffer. <gasps> yeah, from his fu- the fluffer. This new chick started, and she's a fluffer. But she's a little person. No, she's a little person. But she's but a that fluffer. Makes sense. She, what, she couldn't have picked a better profession. <laughs> I know to get. Well, I mean, what else are you gonna do when you're that small? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. I'm totally offending every short person in the world. She just stands down. there. And she called you a bitch. But that's what I'm saying. Like, who's she doesn't know me. So She's jealous of your height. Yeah. So I went out there. I went to the waiter. I want my food. And I'm going to go because I'm not going to leave my food. So I took my food, put it in a bag and left and haven't spoken to Randy since. <laughs> what about the toddler seat? I, know, I left it at the table. <laughs> so the little fucking dick, though. Like, what? Like, I can't believe that he was fucking he was boning. Another woman. He was having suck my dick. Exactly. Like, well, he was having a night with his father. Right. What was the term? I, <laughs> that was your father? Oh, so gross. But like, honestly, people are just men suck. I know. I have dated them all now. Like he that my bucket list done. Have you done a mentally impaired man? No. Oh, that's no. next. No, it isn't. <laughs> yes, it is. I don't know. Do you consider my ex mentally impaired? No. Damn it. He has to be clinically <laughs> mentally impaired. I'm sorry. Like, like I'm talking like, like mental retardation. Like really? Like go to McDonald's? Yep. McDonald's. So, you know yeah, how they, they, they hire the men, they employ mentally. Are they black? No. I don't know. I guess so. I guess we're could stereotyping. <laughs> I mean, we're labeling everything. <laughs> well, you know, the, the grocery people. How about a black mentally impaired midget? Let's go for that. Are, are you guys out there? <laughs> yes. I don't look. You know, I've I fucked them all: black, Asian, Spanish, <laughs> big fat Italians. We got to get Taz back on here with the United, Cubans, the United yeah. Nations. I know. I I I am so not. But the big black man, short white midget. Like I feel like that's a good vis. All right. No. All right. So fuck the mid. I want to do the UN. Yeah. I said that. Yeah, yes, you did. You did. Mm-hmm. All right. I have to just start off the show by apologizing for not plugging the most exciting. Uh, news to hit Glory Hole Radio besides Callie's midget boyfriend. Sorry, I'm sorry. I had to throw that out there. It's been a long time. Here we go. I'm an asshole. And I, I am just... I shit the bed when it comes to this. Boom, 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 boom. I don't lick everyone's ass. <laughs> Did you hear that? Boom, 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 boom. I like pulling. I keep hearing little things. I like stool. I love pussy. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, okay. I'm going back to pussy. To pussy. To pussy. I'm going (laughs) back to pussy. Exactly. I don't think so. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, could you just shut it? God, he's so annoying. All right, enough. (laughs) Look at him. He's practically orgasming. Yes, he really is. Okay. Thank you, Jeff. (sighs) That's what I do. So, I have to just have a private moment, a Dr. Stacy private moment. Uh, Okay. A few years ago, there was a show called Last Comic Standing. And I used to watch it, and I developed a extreme admiration, and um, I became a, like a super fan of a comedian named Rich Voss. And I remember on Last Comic Standing, they'd show him, and you know, everyone had to live in a house together, and he would always iron his clothes. And he would talk to the camera. I appreciate a man who irons. And he would say like really funny shit, and I fucking loved him. And since then, I've kind of followed his career, et cetera. 
Well, his now wife, Bonnie McFarlane, who I also really like, she I believe she was also on a season of Last Comic Standing. And so now they're married. I believe they have children and they're living in New Jersey and they have a podcast on the fucking glory hole. Awesome. Now, how is that like a wet dream come true? For yes, you? because now I'm one step closer <laughs> to meeting Rich Voss. Awesome. And do I am I an ass? I mean, do I come off as crazy? Because I have to say, I am so fucking excited that they're on our. No, that's awesome. We're very excited. Aren't you excited, TP? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I didn't even know who Howard Stern was before all this. So, so their podcast is called My Wife. They hates- are hysterical. Yeah, my wife hates me. I'm going to just play a clip here. I'm- if I was married, uh, this would be me. Okay. Here, let me see. I don't know. I don't know if I queued it up to the right spot, but we'll just give you a little taste. Here we go. You're je- as jealous of the kid who helped us edit as you are of John St- John Stamos. Like there's like you just think like I that every single person on the planet is better than you. No, and I, I would look at everyone that. else and go, oh, I'm ready to uproot my life. You pick your nose while I'm making this statement. That's good. <laughs> you, you feel like I, I'll just throw in the towel on this family that I've created, this unit that I've worked hard to whatever, whatever. have, and just with anyone else. With anyone no, else. No, that's and you, so That's how little you feel about yourself, that you're thinking, like, I will fuck anyone else. <laughs> First of all, people can hear us next door. <laughs> Second of all, I didn't say you would throw it. Yeah, people. they're the only ones listening <laughs> to this podcast. <laughs> I didn't. First of all, a, a lady, when a lady has an affair, it doesn't mean she's trying Who to. Who you in calling a lady? <laughs> it doesn't mean they're trying to throw in the towel. It's called an affair. Okay. okay, but you're saying like that I have zero like foresight into the future that I would just. Okay, let me play another part. I mean, I just fucking can't get enough of these guys. Really? Yeah. I never heard that. Well, that's because you went to a black high school. (laughs) (laughs) So So, I never say it. So, but anyhow, it's time to move on to the next topic. No, it's not. Because you know what? Yeah, I'll fucking pound the table, okay? Because I'm getting really mad that you are sitting here like, like now you're laughing because this is what happens. You get you poke, 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 poke. You, I didn't poke. You brought it up. You, you yes, no, yes. But last night you had a big fight. You let that your emotions run night. a while. <laughs> was it last night? Was it? Was it two, two nights two? ago? Yelling. I didn't yell. You, you yelled. Following John Stamos. Yeah, I bet you had sex with him. I you just said. That. You just said right here today. Them after I left I didn't LA. Say that. I should I bet you went to a party and say with him sexually. I wouldn't think you would do that. That you know, Rich. Say that. You know what? You're you're such an asshole. Why don't you go to a fucking meeting? Isn't the whole thing about AA like <laughs> be truthful, tell the truth? Oh God. So there you go. They are out of control. And I think yeah, they sound awesome. I, yeah, they're amazing. And I think they give you a good picture of what marriage really is. Um. So the other new shows. It's called Hammer Fisting, Callie. Hammer? F- what? There you go. Midget? <laughs> because that's only... No. Ha- oh. It's a UFC show, I think. I'm not really a UFC fan, but... Neither am I. But do they but talk... You're, you're a fan of Hammer Fisting. I, mm. There has to be little midget hands. Oh, you've already been there, done that. <laughs> and the other show is uh, Comedy Cellar, which is huge. I mean, you, you know the Comedy Cellar, right, Callie? Yeah. Yeah, didn't you take me there? Mm, they have their own podcast. Do they? On our network. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Good luck, guys. I, did we get an email about this? Yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah. I was in California, maybe. I'm going to blame everything on California. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm, I can't keep up. The, the network's just growing so big due to Rob Sprance and the Glory Hole Boys. I think it's just Rob Sprance. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Glory Hole guys. I tried to be nice to all of you out there. Go, Rob. Um, what do you want from me? In the words of Adam Lampert. Who's Adam Lampert? The guy from American Idol? He, did you not know that song, What Do You Want From Me? No. I don't either. Okay. What do you, right. what? I'm on red side on Dude, this Dude, I one. listen to Rihanna. <laughs> you do. You have like the worst taste I in do. Music. And I listen to the band Perry mm. and Lady Antebella. I think I'm going to go a little country. Are you fucking kidding me? Mm-hmm. And you know what else I did? I went to Ikea. Yeah. So? Just saying. Just went to Ikea. Right here. This is what... This Did you is, put it together? <laughs> here. Yeah. Uh, mm. Jeff, here. I had sex on the box, though. 
I know the song. They yeah. play it on the radio. Okay. Please stop. My head's going to explode. No. <laughs> I would walk off this show. I think I'm going to die. Walk off. I will. What do you want from me? This is the guy that wore makeup. Mm. Bye. Did he sell out, though? Wait, you're talking about the guy that used to wear makeup. <laughs> so what, what Gene you, Simmons? What? Why are you so quick to walk off? What the fuck's wrong with you? You don't like, you don't like country? Don't Do you like, like Zach Brown band? I don't like band? the way things have been going lately. What? In the music industry? No, around us. Why? What's the problem? I don't want to talk about it. No, we're going to talk. Wait, no, what? you're going to start. You don't just throw something out on air. Listen, don't fuck with us before the holidays. I am in a very merry mood. So <laughs> that's thing. I want to kiss you under the mistletoe and make love under the Christmas tree. She's full of shit. You say that all the time. I say it to everyone I know. Cock-tees. It doesn't help. So it means Cock-tees. nothing to me. Cock-tees. Just be nice. You really just want to walk off the set, don't you? You just want to yeah. rip those fucking headphones off and throw it on the no, table. No, but why don't we get to He's the bottom of this? I know. Because you're the doctor. Pull it out well, of him, I doc. haven't been able to get a word in. Hmm. Why? <laughs> because you've been <laughs> rambling. Uh, do you have a problem with Sprans? No. Do you have a problem with... Who, I don't even know anyone else on our network. Nobody on the network. You can't name, f- name another person on our network. Go ahead. Franco? That's too easy. That, that hasn't had sex with Dr. Stacy. <gasps> oh! oh! Wait, wait, that's hard. Because oh! see, see, not too long ago, Sprans actually put out... Oh. No one can, ple- can, can replace Callie Rose because we are the network paid for penicillin for blah, 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 blah. Okay, I haven't fucked anyone in the network. I'm just throwing it out there, people. However, Dr. Stacy's pussy seen so much cock on this network. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, you have. Really? So, yeah. Really? Franco, does that count as everybody? Yes. Okay. Yes, it does. One, Absolutely. One of the guys from Jersey, I believe? No. Yes. Marco? And you called him a run-of-the-mill cock. No, or his, that was John. Whatever. You, you didn't see the Jersey guy's dick? I don't know. Uh-huh. Playback episode, blah, 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 blah. Because I'm sure I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Which um, again? Let's see. Who did Callie fuck? Uh, no one. Mm-hmm. Who did Callie kill? No one. Who did Callie? <laughs> no, no one. Thank you. Yeah, but you're the whore. I am the whore. <laughs> I don't keep it in the fam. I spread my love elsewhere. Uh, my goal is to have a glory hole barbecue. That's awkward a for barbecue. Barbecue. <laughs> barbecue. Would you like to throw an orgy in there? No, I and want we could it all to be- sit around and compare Stacy's pussy. <laughs> I smell gangbang. <laughs> I want it to be awkward for everybody. Okay, I want it to be You're awkward for everybody. I'm trying to ruin everyone's joy. You're on a good, good start. Yeah, there. That's right. <laughs> Chris Fortney. He's next. No, wait, who's not married? She doesn't care, does she? Mm, yeah, yeah, no, she does. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say she does. Who's not married? Uh, Kevin Kraft. Uh, oh, that's right. Didn't yeah. you? Didn't you just say that you had a little crush on I Kevin do. Kraft and Shuddy Boy? And oh, Shuddy Boy. He's not married. Okay. Miguel's not married. Oh, uh, Marco's not married. What does that look for? No, I saw his um, cock. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that? But that was via text, so I don't know if that really matters. Marco's not married, and. Fabio's not married. Okay, so you could basically have a gangbang with Jersey Boys. And they're not poor Jersey. They're not a Broadway show. <laughs> oh, what's their names? Oh, my God. <laughs> really? You know what their names are? I'm, I'm so, the worst. <laughs> you know what I meant. Everyone knew what I meant. You just had to call yeah, them. Yeah. Like you meant the gay Broadway musical. Right, exactly. That she also fucked. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. All right. I don't know about the new guys. I know, obviously, Rich Voss is married, and I know Robert Kelly's married, and Jim Florentine, I think he's single, but I'm not going there. Oh, why? Because <clears throat> he was with Robin Quivers. Uh, what does that mean? Do you know who that is? She's the black woman. <laughs> yeah, you know. So you will not go with someone who was one black. I just. Oh, know. are you saying you wouldn't want to touch a? Co- yeah, yeah. Good question. No, I just me? don't. I no just, black remnants. I don't think he's into me because he was into Robin. We're, you we have to be more re- different. Your ass is more black than Robin Quivers. <laughs> Let's not even go there. You know, come on now. Have you looked in the mirror? Mm-hmm. Oh, can you please, please? I don't have a shelf. My ass is so black and I'm so predictable. You have a fucking fun ass that I would dip in gravy and lick it up. You chop (laughs) some biscuits. (laughs) Hey, so I, what are you doing? Do you have an email? I have a holiday email. Well, we haven't even gotten a list of emails, you fucking pre-ejaculate. I am totally. Pre-ejaculate But it's the holiday spirit. Okay, so wait, before we get into anything, 
TP. Yeah. What's on your Christmas list this year? What's on my That's Christmas That's not depressing. I'm going to bring everybody down. Okay. There goes the cyanide. No, seriously. What's the one thing? Like, uh, if, if you were, if you, if someone asked you, listen, TP, I want to get you whatever it is you want. I would That's like tangible. A new mixing board, actually. Is okay. Like. Oh, I see. So oh. If the audience would like to get this. I need something to go into the computer. Hmm. Is that the finger you use when you finger blast your bitches? Yeah. Okay. What is that, your middle finger? It's his yeah. middle finger. Oh, you also think it's... Is it because it's I group bl- them sometimes. Oh. <laughs> he groups he them. Group them. Yeah. Like a little cluster? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, nothing. I'm sure like it's the, nothing like the, the midget. Tie no, it would have... It's like two of his fingers was the midget hand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God my pussy's tight. <laughs> that, that's just wrong. <laughs> it's so wrong. Oh, you, bucket list. Stacy. <laughs> What's yeah. on your list? Do you have one that one? I have an announcement. A nice, big, thick penis is welcomed. Really? Is that your announcement? Is that what <laughs> you'd like? No. I want a trip to Mexico, and oh. I actually got it. Oh, awesome. Good times. When are you going in uh, February. February? Good job. Mm-hmm. That's a good gift. Yeah, I got it. I'm going <clears throat> in February for, um, I believe, Five or six days. Oh, you're going to have fun. That's a good. You need it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. It should be fun. Good. I'm so glad to hear that. Mm. Good times. Good mm-hmm. times. Do you care who I'm going with? I, I didn't know if I was allowed to ask. Kevin Kraft. Shut up. <laughs> he needs to use a lot of lotion. Looks like he would burn easily. <laughs> Make sure he uses SPF 150. <laughs> I don't think his son, his skin could handle it. Well, who, who says we're going to be in the sun? Mm. Oh, mm. hey. I'm going to go for the spray tan. Hey, Sprance, why don't you go load up on some more penicillin? <laughs> or some new shows because your hosts are getting knocked off one by one. <laughs> Wowzers. I'm so irresistible. Mm. All right. So there, there's our Christmas list. Do you exactly. have a Christmas list? No. I got everything I wanted. Like? Black man in the bathroom. No. Um, I got my trick. No, that's not true. You know, I don't know get in. I don't know. I'm good. I got a sweater that I love. <laughs> that's it. You want a sweater? I got a sweater. I already got it though. It was so yummy. And then I took photographs naked in it and sent them. Why? Why are you saying that? That? What? It just always goes back to you being naked. I like being naked and oily. No. What do I want? I would love a trip. You just came back from California. Yes, that was kind of like part of my Christmas gift. Okay. But we broke up, so now I need another person to buy me another Christmas gift. Very selfish. It is very selfish of me, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Is that wrong? Look, if you can get it, then take it. I mean, Kevin and it gives me everything, so... Huh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Actually, all I want is a bottle of perfume. I'm very simple. I'm a very simple person. You mean to add to the other two that are in your uh, yes. book <laughs> right now? You know what? I got you a bottle. You did. You're going to be lugging that around a huge <laughs> bottle of perfume. Because recently I was shopping and I saw the, the big bottle of oh, Marc Jacob. The one that I wanted. No. No. It's one in the series. I couldn't find the one that you really wanted. But I did, however, get you one. Is that them. my gift? I don't know what it smells like, but okay. I'm hoping it smells good. And if it doesn't, use it as room fragrance. What if it smells like rotting vagina? Then maybe... Um, uh, you can give it to TP. You want to have some rotting vagina perfume? To remind you of how much you hate women? <laughs> yeah. So have you ever thought about cocks? No. Okay. <laughs> Just figured I'd ask. It was worth a shot. All right. Okay. Listen. So that's I'm the- getting a cock tomorrow. If you had one. No. I put one on every now and again. <gasps> oh, my God. I got to tell you a quick story. Here we go. So listen to this. So no joke so midget and i go but not o- to california but i went with another friend of mine as well and but my friend left earlier like a few days earlier mm-hmm. and so as a joke i went through all her shit well she packed all her shit up mm-hmm. <clears throat> i know where she kept her strap on and her big giant dildo her big blue dildo mm-hmm. so i thought it'd be kind of funny if i threw it in her luggage because she's so anal and so worried that she's going to get stopped by what tsa what is it called TSA. I guess I said TSA. So I put it in there in her suitcase without her knowing. But TSA never stopped her. But she was flipping out when she took out her sweater. And that's, she, that's why I love you. You're such a good friend. I don't know, a good friend. How cool would that have been <laughs> if she got stopped by TSA? But let's just talk about the airlines for a moment also. So that day I get on the plane and I go through 
the metal detector. And of course, they stopped me. Did I tell you all this? No, I haven't told you. So I got stopped by whatever, because it was in my bag, my carry-on bag. I had a bottle opener. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. A can (laughs) of hairspray. Matches. A booster seat. <laughs> matches. Yeah, yeah. You had matches. All like, three. I can a hairspray. I can a hairspray and a bottle opener. A nail Basically clip. You're on the FBI. What the most fuck was now. I thinking though? Like really? Like so? Anyway, he stopped Formula. me. Formula. But he diapers. Asked, this guy asked me for a drink though. <laughs> Wait, what? He asked me for a drink <laughs> in front of the midget. No, the midget was already. He already scooted away. <laughs> you know. He was like, I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom. I can't deal with this shit. <laughs> I was like, all right, bye. So you so, like the mayor of Munchkin? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what does it go? The lollipop. <laughs> Wait, how does that song go? We, we are in the, the lollipop, lollipop kids. Oh, anyway. So, <laughs> the lollipop kids. <laughs> so can I finish? So anyway, TSA. <laughs> Very professional security we have. I feel so safe. I know. Traveling this to each is of what my I'm saying. Now. This was my whole point. Are you? <laughs> Fuck me in the ass. Put it on, baby. That was his. That was how Look he at my toes. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I want to boost your seat when I come back. <laughs> Doesn't that make you all wet? It obviously did a beer. <laughs> it did. <laughs> did you wear one of those sweaters? <laughs> I did. Oh, God. <laughs> so bad. Oh, I just had a flashback. Oh, so bad. I was so embarrassed. He wanted to join the Mile High Club, too. It was gross. I was like, you could fit in the bathroom. I can't fit. I, no. You can stand in the sink. I know. Oh, oh, throw up. Oh, God. I put him on the changing table, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it was much it's easier than cover. It is. I figure. Just changing my baby. Just changing my baby. We represent the lollipop. Uh, shh, don't talk now. Just don't talk now. <laughs> okay, okay, so wait. So the TSA agent asked you out. Yes, he asked me out for a drink. He was like, I get off in 20 minutes. Your flight's not for like an hour. Let's go for a drink. Because they have like, in JetBlue, they have wine everywhere. I said no, though. I was like, it's probably not cool because my lot might know. I was like, my friend just went to the restroom. <laughs> He's like your friend, and I was like that. I thought that was your child. I know it was bad. I was like, he's short. I know. And then he asked me if he was on that TV show on TLC, and I was like, no. He's like, then why would you be with a mid, like a, a midget? Or and I was like, it's on my bucket list, and I had to go, whatever. Right. So anyway, he actually wound up letting me go on the airplane with matches, hairspray, and uh, I mean, like seriously, like I could have started a bomb somehow. I could have. I could have blew up JetBlue. I didn't. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, though. I was like sitting there. I was like, did I really just get on this flight? <laughs> yeah, so that's my story. Next time I want to transport some hash, I'm giving it to <laughs> Give you. Give it to me. Give it to when me. When are we going away together? I know, right? We've never done that. We haven't. We, but we always talk about doing that. I know. Do you need money for that? <laughs> you okay. Uh, are we going so, somewhere with the sun? Can I come? Uh, I'm afraid for you. I'm afraid that the sun, you'll reject the sun. That won't be good for you. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll blow you'll up. You'll blow up. I'm scared. <laughs> I'll, I'll turn into crystals. <laughs> you know what? You, Edward. Yeah. We should. We should take this on a on a road trip. We should. Well, we did We did trip. lie to the Jersey Jerks. I mean, we didn't <clears> think we were lying, but it turned out to be a lie that we were going to go out there. I know. That kind of sucks. <sighs> we so, make these so many big, grandiose plans. Asshole bleaching. I know. Putting wrestling. We, f- we suck. Yeah, we don't follow. Th- we're not closers. We're not closers. We got to be a closer. We, we're lazy. I know. I'm curious to know why Sprans hasn't organized some sort of holiday business be- party for all of, of us. Of mis- fuck everyone on the network. Over Is that there. why? Okay. Or maybe they okay. are having one and we just haven't been invited because the they're worried about Stacey's pussy. Network. Let me tell you right now. Sprans is afraid because he knows of if me? I... No. He knows that if I show up at that party... Everybody's going to want to fuck you. I'm going to be banging Franco in the bathroom. You know what's going to happen. You All know. the Jersey jerks. Yeah. Not the Jersey boys. <laughs> the Jersey jerks. <laughs> that you're going to be bagging fucking Missy. I know. She's going to be like licking cream pie out of my asshole. And, so and I'll just be depressing everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah, you will. So, yeah, so maybe we're not the life of the party. And now that Rich Voss is on board, he's like, let's keep Stacey away from that guy. Because Bonnie will kick her ass. Yeah, that probably won't be good. No, though, Bonnie's not the jealous one. Rich no, is. Rich is. So then I should stay okay, away so from her. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll try to pick up this Bonnie chick then. Yeah. Well, you want to make a bet? See who, who she'd go for first, you or me? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. Maybe she'll get both of them. Mm. 
I'll do that. That's the no. issue. Uh, I think we're I don't the do that anymore. It's me. I'm a born again. It's me. Or don't start. It's like I'm not even there. It's Remember? Old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. I really do. I think it's my fault, and I take full responsibility. We sound merry. I take I I take full responsibility. I'm sorry that I've banged Franco. <laughs> Okay. You can try to tell us. Can you honestly sit here and tell me that you've never flirted with anybody else on this network? Of course I have. Listen, oh, excuse me. Excuse me, miss. Oh, it's too bad. Chris Fortney's married. No, no. I said flirt with him. I'm not talk about him. You you don't have fun sex with anybody? No. Mm. No. See, it wasn't just Franco. It's the dude, other dude, too, from from Jersey Jerks. Marco. Right. Yeah, Marco. Uh Yeah, but Franco and I were the ones who were, you know, we were lovey-dovey. You dipped. You dip, he dipped his he stick. Dipped his, how does it go? Dipstick? He dipped his stick. And maybe one day father, yeah. he can come on and talk about it. But to be honest with you, at this point, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe Sprance is afraid of me. Mm. I don't know. Well, he's, Sprance, he's, you afraid of Stacey? He's coming on our show as soon as a guest, and he'll have to address that. Mm. He might be. I mean, I have... All right. I'm not supposed to say this, but he did tell me that there that he he politely asked me to stop dating any people in the network <laughs> <laughs> i mean like really enough. because it is awkward i mean the fact that frank and i were together was cool when it lasted but then when it ended it was kind of like franco didn't want to talk about it i didn't want to talk about it sprance didn't know what to say he was caught in the middle and like every- i was just throwing it all out there everybody was everyone just was mad uncomfortable mm-hmm. everyone was uncomfortable yeah you know what stop sucking cop and the listeners got that <laughs> yeah, exactly it was just a weird time for all of us mm. Are you okay now? I am okay. You keeping I think, you shot? I think Franco and I are on good terms. Hmm. I think there's still some requirements that he needs to meet. But we, you know, we're moving on. I okay. mean, look, I feel bad for him. Because once you've tasted the best, all the rest pale in comparison. Oh, I love it. Amen. Good job, Stacey. I love Hallelujah. it. Hallelujah. Amen. Still. All right. All right. So Let's what are we doing? Listener emails. I have one. Can we do the fucking music first? <laughs> it's time to answer your emails. It's time to answer your emails. And here we go. I got it. Wow. Okay, that's I'm good. impressed. Oh, that was a good one. I don't even know where this email is. I All just right. had it. I'll just go to mine. Oh, no. That's from my lawyer. Oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I have read that one, please. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, here we go. <clears throat> from someone. So, beautiful ladies of why you suck in bed and TP. <laughs> Thank you. Aside from wanting to take a moment to tell you how much I enjoy your show and how happy I am you've returned from your hiatus Christmas is coming C-U-M-M-I-N-G oh god and I'd like to hear your opinion on a few Christmas traditions number one is it okay to buy sultry lingerie for your partner and put it under the tree yes Uh, can I finish (laughs) oh I love that she's like totally role playing here yeah Mm. that's that's an idea for the future show I'll be you you be me oh that's a good one yeah and if you do this and if and if you do does this count as a present for the giver or the receiver is it better to give this gift as a pre-Christmas taster on Christmas Eve so that you can enjoy it into Christmas morning? Taking it one step further, do sex toys make appropriate stocking stuffers? <laughs> All right, hold on. How much of a kiss is appropriate under the mistletoe? Can you use tongue? Mm. Three. My can we gr- go through one Oh, okay, okay, let's go back to one. Okay, so taking it one step further, do sex toys make appropriate stocking stuffers? That's that not bad. That was a number one. Well, it was... Okay, sultry lingerie for your partner and under the tree, Christmas Eve, Christmas. Yes, but not in front of the children. Okay. TP? No. No what? You don't, you would never buy your girlfriend sultry lingerie? Not for Christmas, no. Why? I don't buy people Christmas presents. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Mother. Okay, hypothetically speaking, if you lived in the real world, okay, with all of us. Okay, Yeah, really? Or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or Ramadan or fucking any other goddamn <laughs> holiday that's celebrating the months of December to February. Would you or would you not buy your significant other sultry lingerie? Yes. And would you give it to her the day before Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Ramadan? <laughs> Martin Luther King. Yes. MLK. I would, I, I would purposely make it on the non-holiday day. Yeah. Um, why? I don't believe in the whole gift giving thing. So I guess Christ. you wouldn't put sex toys in your lover's stuff. I thought that was a euphemism meaning 
So you wouldn't <laughs> give your boyfriend any kind of like boxer briefs or anything like no, that? No, let him buy his own fucking underwear. Okay. So if I gave you like a, an elephant thong, <laughs> you, you would be... With the trunk. Oh, I'd, I'd take that, yeah. Okay, see? See, you take the elephant trunk. All right, go ahead. Stacey, have you ever um, bought your significant other sexy... That's gross. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not down with men wearing sexy underwear, though. No, I've never bought them anything on mm. Christmas like that. It's usually very cool gifts that don't right. require... It's usually, like, gifts that I don't necessarily approve of. Like, one time I bought... <laughs> this is how awesome I am. One time, <laughs> <laughs> one time I bought my ex-husband. We were just dating. I bought him um, a PlayStation 2. Wow. Back in the day. Mm. And uh, I had him sign a contract before he opened it, and I actually melted wax on it and everything. Like, I just made it look really official. And the contract said that if any any point I deem this gaming system comes between us in our relationship, I have the right to remove it um, for a trial ah, period. Very smart. He signed it, and they gave him a PlayStation 2. And then we just proceeded to play it together. It was really fun, blah, blah, blah. But I always give gifts that I don't necessarily want them to have. Right, but, but I you know, know that it's in the spirit of giving. Right. It's not about me. You know, That's nice. Yeah. Would you be okay with your boyfriend giving you lingerie on Christmas Eve? Not your whole gift, just one of many? Yeah. And would you wear it that night? Sure. Okay, good. All right. So going to number two. <laughs> How much of a kid? Oh, wait. What, what about stock? Well, I guess if the kids aren't there, I guess... Stocking stuffers are appropriate. Little sex toys in there. Yeah, but if children are involved, please don't please do that. Please don't. How much of a kiss is appropriate under the mistletoe? Can you use tongue? As much as you want. Use everything. Let it out. It's the fucking holidays. It's no holds barred. Lick the nose. Lick the ears. Lick it all. Lick, 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 lick. <laughs> TP? Grab a boob. There you go. Okay, number three. My girlfriend refuses to let me fuck her under the Christmas tree. She says she's afraid to get pine needles up her ass and in her pussy. <laughs> but I really don't want to get fake one. No naughty needles. Just to bang her. Can you tell her she's being ridiculous and, s- and to suck it up? And believe me, I'm not asking her to rest her head on the tree stand or anything. I just want to shimmy under it a little and get to the making of ma- get to making the magic happen. She, too, is a listener. If this came from Dr. Stacy, it would be great because she calls you the smart one. Sorry, Callie. You're the crazy <laughs> one. Much thanks, ladies. Keep up the good work. Start slow under a wreath first. <laughs> well, ease up. Yeah, like fade in. I don't know. Yeah. That that would kind of worry me about getting a pine oh, needle caught in the Are you really? Uh, really? I have issues really? with Really? Isn't your dream out in the rain? You're yeah. Really like with bang- mud up I don't your know. ass? I'd be a little nervous. Well, I mean, and I'm, you're banging a fucking little person on I'm a not- changing table? That's totally different. Whatever, I won't what? sit on a curb You're because a the ants are going to crawl inside my pussy. Your cock. Pin, what if a pine needle gets in there and it's like um, going the wrong direction? It's going sideways and not up and down. And listener, it's like your email the- is amazing. And here's what I have to say. You lay You're down- a douche. Yeah. Uh, who's a douche? Me? You. You lay down a festive blanket. You a festive... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just- Reindeer <laughs> on the blanket? No. Like one of those festive sweaters. <laughs> And could I take your sweaty balls? <laughs> you laid out a festive blanket. <laughs> uh, you, do I have the Yule log going? Yeah, you the Yule log. You lay her down. You insert your Yule log. <laughs> I it's, want to fuck you. Oh, Mr. Robot's out. <laughs> That's what you fucking do. Okay. All right. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to do it next week. I'll let you guys know. I'll take oh, photos. Oh, really? You're going to do it? I'm going to do it. <laughs> take I'm going to have somebody to fuck we me. We don't want photos. Christmas. Please. Oh, you want photos. No, we don't. TP? <laughs> I want video. <laughs> I want to be the Yule log. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Oh, my God. I'm dying. Are you dying? <laughs> I'm dying. All right. Oh now it's my turn. I want to sing. Uh, I just listened count. to episode 35, and it. I should have been a guest on the show. I don't like blowjobs. I have been jizzed <laughs> in the face by a girl, and I clean up my... What? what? Wait, I'm trying to get the vid. Hello. I've what? been jizzed in the face. By a girl. And I cleared up my jizz off the girl. You guys should interview a couple of Europeans. We are very sexual liberated. Wait, time out. I'm still trying this to figure out how he's jizzed. Martin. Martin, how did someone jizz in your face? Did she spit is it she in your face? Is she a squirter? <sighs> I like getting squirted on my face. You do? I don't mind. That's probably why I have a pimple on my lip right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you break out when you eat pussy? No. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have your goatee, though. Yeah, Should I grow a goatee? It sops up the juices. Ew! Yeah, I, know. I know all those juices just hang out on your face. I don't think it's... I'm very like Italian skin. bread. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm Italian. I know how to eat. I'm Italian. I'm Italian. Too. I, also I know how to twirl eat. it like it's like it's twirl Lugini. what? Oh, your your goatee or the no, pussy? The, the clip? The innards? Yes. The, the innards? innards? <laughs> it sounds like a turkey. Are we talking Thanksgiving now? It's like get the innards out. It's fucking gross, T Pain. What do you mean? Show me your. Innards. It depends how big the clit is. Yeah. You can't sit there and twirl a clit if it's a yeah, little like clit. Twirl it like it's around Who, the How big of the clits are you sucking that you could twirl them? A couple of them, but you know, very like hangers, engorged. Yeah. Damn. Really. Yeah. I guess it makes it bigger easier. Bigger than your midget, most likely. I'm probably. It sounds much bigger than his whole body. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did they like, did it like dangle like a rooster's neck? It wasn't loose. Um, no, no, not the hole, but I've seen clits that look like that rooster bottom, the rooster neck, you know, that like the, thing? Like the gobbler? The gobbler yeah, thing. Yeah. Are you serious? It, yeah. And not, no one that uh, I've been I've, with. I haven't seen one like that. You haven't? No. My friend swears that her husband sucks it too hard and it's it's sagging now. That fascinates me. Mm-hmm. She should come on the show. She should. I, she would be funny. I don't know if she'd come on the show, but she should talk about that. Mm-hmm. I want to see it. I got to really look at it and examine Ew, it. Are you going to look at your friend's clit? I would never show you my clit. I think that's just weird. We're just entering weird zone. I think I showed you my pussy, but I was like my pussy. You didn't show me your pussy. I didn't show. I looked away. Okay. I saw it. <laughs> it says <laughs> droop, although I think it's coming back. I think it's going back. You gotta do the All exercise. Right. The <laughs> I push it. I tape it. <laughs> Here's a new email. Mm. Do you ever feel jealous when you find out that your girlfriend or boyfriend has had more sexual partners than you? <clears throat> I usually can't stay in a relationship with a girl once I find out how many other guys she's been with, since my number is pretty low. Do I just need to get my number higher to feel better, or should I learn to deal with it to keep a girl that I think I really like? Thanks for your advice. I listen every week. You guys rock. Devin. It's a good question, Devin, because I've been in a situation where, even though I want the past to be in the past, I do focus on the fact that the person that I'm with has had twice as many three times as many partners as i've had and i can if you really start dwelling on it you can get very hung up on that i i'm 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 yeah you I'm, start questioning your own no, I value have a, yeah. you I have, start questioning mm-hmm. your own performance i have a friend that's dating a woman and she says she she does she lets all these emotions get in her head because her girlfriend has been with a lot of people both men and women and not a lot of people, but, you know, good amounts, definitely more than her, and has been in menage a trois, and has been in foursomes, ninesomes, whatever. Mm-hmm. And, um, ninesomes. <laughs> yeah, don't. Anyway, so... Um, what, what is, could you look that up? N- no. It, she, Google this, it. Her girlfriend was with, like, nine women at one time. I want to know, like, what's the term? My girlfriend's always like, Callie, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, it's like, sh- I get jammed up. I get really intimidated by her because... You know, she's been with all these women I don't and men, and I don't know I don't know why she's with me, and <clears throat> so I totally understand that. I do too. Well, I don't understand it, but I mean, I could see how you can let your head get in the way of things. Yes, but I, I've done that, <clears throat> and I. But did you ruin the relationship because of it? I became a little jealous, and I'd ask questions like, <clears throat> "Was she prettier than I was?" You know, like stupid fucking like questions that a twenty-one-year-old would ask. Right. As I aged and I got more secure. It doesn't bother me anymore. I don't care. I honestly, I don't care. And actually, the fact that my partner has been with people turns me on because right. I feel like it, it's like they're more desirable to me. That's a good way. Does of that make sense? Absolutely. Like, oh my god, this person's been with all these people and they want me. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm. That's a good way of thinking. But you're yeah, and now you're more self confident because of age. I think. Right. I also think that this Devin should not go out there and fuck other women to catch up. I don't think that's the answer. I think that he needs to be like you, a little more self-confident, and maybe that will come with age. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if he's doing what he's... Just, just enjoy the moment. Forget yeah. about the past. Right. She's with you for whatever reason that may be. You know, just like l- like it. Just don't think about it. Because you can always find a way to sabotage a, a relationship. Absolutely. I told recently told someone that I was with that I was hogtied back in the, my day. <laughs> hey, day. And, um, by the midget? No, by my, like, yeah. And then someone saw the video of me hogtied. Oh my God. My, oh, my, yeah. I remember the story. Yeah. Someone in his family saw me hogtied. So I his recently. His father. Yeah. Thank, oh, I told the story already? Probably. Okay, never mind. So, <laughs> anyway, so I recently told the story to <laughs> someone that I'm, I'm intimate with. And they got jammed up. They were just like, why did you tell me a story? I don't want to... Like, they didn't want to see me or think about me being hogtied. 
And I was like, <laughs> to be honest, it ruined a lot for me as well. I was a the le- music thing has killed it completely. For I know. Me. Do you think I'm going to lose listeners, people that don't adore me anymore because I fucked a midget? Yeah. Are they going to think less of me? I think so. Yeah. But midgets have feelings too. I'm not saying it's a feeling <laughs> thing. I I did. I feel like I did an act of humanity. You fucking Mother Teresa because you banged a midget. <laughs> Come on. Is that not, is that wrong? If I wanted to fuck Mother Teresa. And Gandhi at the same time. Is that time? on the list as well? No, mm, that's a cool threesome. Your, your post death bucket list. Yeah, maybe I can go in my afterlife. I could Good have Gandhi you. up my ass and eat out Mother Teresa. There you go. Good for you. I'm so going to hell. I want to have a three way with uh, Casey Anthony and, and Amanda Knox. Actually, oh, oh she's yeah, in you're it. going to hell. They're both been acquitted. That's true. You're right. Yeah. Mm. Can I tell you that um, I'm mm. currently uh, seeing somebody? Oh, congratulations! Is he in the network? <laughs> Soon. He'll be soon. soon he'll have his own show soon. Yeah. Maybe. It'll, it'll be the world of Dr. Um, Stacey. And he mm-hmm. has had sex with a midget. Really? A female? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I hope so. And it, 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 it's kind of fucked with my head a little bit because he's like, yeah, I was at a bar and I... Ew. I met her and I rested my beer on her head and I said, hey, you want to go <laughs> home with me? <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> So he banged her? Mm-hmm. He said he just flipped her around on his dick like she was a doll. Oh, God. Was she good? He said she was the first person to ever lick his asshole. Oh. So, yeah. And I have to tell you, it's a little bit <laughs> bothersome to me. I have such a visual right now. You know who I'm talking about, right? Yes. Yes. And I feel like he may have told me the story, but I th- did he really tell me this? He it, might it's have. It's a true story, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Holy shit. TP, how do you feel about that? <laughs> did your dick just fall off? I can't believe he did it's that. It's turtle. Because yeah. this is a big... Like, this is a, a big guy. This is a tall <clears throat> man. <clears throat> he's not fat. He's just a big guy. He's tall and he's... So, very, let me ask you. Very <clears throat> built. And for him to be banging a midget... Was... When she licked his ass, was it amazing for him? Yes. So how does that make you feel when you insert your tongue inside of his asshole? I don't do it often. Okay. So when you do it, do you get do you and get I visions? And I always of, think of the midget. Mm. You're wondering if if you're too big, <laughs> I'm at the right angle. So <laughs> what are the thoughts that go through your mind? No, Come but on. you just get. I feel like you just make up a vision, like you just make up a midget. And you know what's fucked up? He told me the next morning, she was like, "That was so good." You know, give me your phone number. And he's like, "Why bother?" <gasps> Which I think is hot, that he was just like, like I Because you like the scumbag, but I he's not scumbag. a scumbag, but you but like, like that scumbag move. move. Mm-hmm. And he's like, why bother? And she was like, yeah, that's true. She said, you should probably leave because my boyfriend's coming home in an hour. She had a fucking boyfriend. I'm telling you, these fucking short <laughs> people have some fucking goddamn issues, motherfuckers. And he said, he's like, I knew the guy. He's oh. like, but I banged her to say I did it. Yeah. See, me and your, yeah, we have a lot in common, mm-hmm. him and I. Yeah, I know you do. We do. You two have talked. I love him. Mm. Here we go. See, every time you like someone I'm dating... It goes sour. Yeah, it goes sour. When you hate them... Although, even when you hate them, like, you hated Franco. I hate Franco. I just... I'm happier. You're happier now. I think you're happier now. You were not, though, but you used to get disgusted with us. Yeah, you guys are annoying. Although now, listening to you two bicker, like an old married guy, I don't know which is worse. I mean, at least Franco and I were loving to each other. The is guy that, I'm dating now, we bicker. You guys do bicker. But it's cute. You guys are cute. You guys should have your own show. <laughs> you really should. Right? Don't you? Hello. Are you here with us? Yeah, I'm working. What are you working on? I have a midget song. Oh, okay. God, help me. Ready? I thought we were singing Christmas carols. No. Mm. It's a midget theme. Fly me with balloons so I can meet <laughs> That's so wrong. I'm a miserable midget who is only two foot three. Oh my god. Is this Randy? Eric the midget. With a five inch cat. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> Look at me, everybody. I'm the first flying Ewok. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. Okay. That's really bad. So, for our next email, are you ready? Yes. Can you get off your phone? I, I'm try, I was trying to get someone to Skype in. First of all, I just want to say I love the show, and I'm eagerly, I eagerly <coughs> await every new installment. This is from um, Sam. So recently I started a relationship with my best guy friend. This is my first relationship, and I'm having trouble adjusting to not being single. All my life, I've always seen my future in the mindset of being single. 
Now that the excitement of starting a relationship has gone down, <clears throat> I'm having second thoughts. I feel like I rushed into this and that I cannot break up with him without losing him as a friend. Another problem I have with this relationship is he's super needy, Skyping me or trying to hang out 24-7, which I love, but due to the fact that we go to different schools, high school. Oh, my God. Wow. We, have, we have high school listeners. Our schedules don't always... <laughs> Our schedules don't always match up and constantly makes me feel guilty when I try to have some downtime over being with him. Am I just crazy and all the people feel freaked out with the start of a first relationship or am I making a mistake and should trust my gut? Always love the show and you guys keep it up, Sam. Okay, Sam. Sam, you're in high school. Oh my God, you're so young. Live your fucking life. No, Sam, trust your gut. That's always my advice. Trust your gut. And to be honest with you, I have done this with guy friends and if they're worth your friendship, they'll always come back and be your friend. There might be some downtime where you can't, you know, talk because there's some hurt feelings. But uh, in the end, a true friend will always return. And uh, I can't even use this as an age thing because even when I was 18, I needed my downtime. And now in my 30s, I need my downtime. I don't like someone who's up my ass 24-7. Yeah, it's a little much. A healthy relationship doesn't require that. You can have your life. They can have their life. You can have a life together. That's healthy. I agree. I agree with you 110%. I mean, he, but, you, but what we all have to remember here is that they are young. Mm-hmm. And any first relationship, you know, when you're that young, you don't know what to do. You don't know the right and the wrong. But... She seems like she's got a good head on her shoulders. And you know what? You just have to be really sensitive to him. Like, and when you, if you tell him, Hey, can you just give me a little bit of space? Like, I think this is a guy, Sam. Oh, guy, Sam. I I don't know why I viewed it. Oh, I mean, I could be wrong. It could be Samantha, but all right. Well, Sam, if you're a dude or a girl, it doesn't even matter. Just be sensitive to the other person when, you know, you should tell them, you should tell them they just need a little bit of space. Mm hmm. But then again, then if it is a boy telling a girl, the girl's going to flip off because she's young. And I mm-hmm. honestly, I have to tell you, I really, really think that if you're meant to be good friends, you will be. Right. Because you know what? And I will say this. Maybe I shouldn't. All right. Fuck it. I will. And then if we have to beep it later, we will. Franco and I broke up and we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> and we were friends beforehand. And I think that we're working towards being friends again. Phew. Bless you. Sorry. Uh-oh. Oh, do you. <laughs> <laughs> It's not everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Is that clean? Yes. It doesn't feel clean. It's been in my pocket. I wish we could videotape this show. <laughs> this is disgusting. Oh, I'm allergic. To what? The microphone. Because I said the F word? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Go on. Right, anyway, Ugh. if they're meant to be your friend, they will be. <laughs> Why is that so beeping? You're an animal. I know. I, I don't know. All of a sudden, people shouldn't be hearing these things. I don't I know like what's to, going I on. Like it's to like be- you're birthing a giraffe or something. <laughs> That's I like to keep gross. it real. <laughs> I, I uh, either you love me or you hate me. It's fucking disgusting. I am so gross. You don't even know. <laughs> Oh, God. Let's go to the next email. I'm going to fucking kill myself. I need nice. a fucking Silkwood shower, I would say. <laughs> Me too. Hi, Dr. Stacy. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Who is that? This is... Oh, oh that was you? I didn't even sound like you. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Can you call Bruno? <laughs> Can you get him back in here? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no. oh God. Oh. Hey, why are you sucking bed fans? It's Bruno. Oh, I miss you, oh. Bruno. <laughs> Do it into the microphone for Bruno. Okay, I, I, I'm okay. I swear I'm okay. Oh, I just wanted to let you know that I love you and Callie together. But these last couple shows have showcased you. Yes, it I have. I've always thought. <laughs> <laughs> I've always thought Callie was my. Shut the fuck oh, up. Oh, this, this is a mean one to me. Okay, yes. go on. I always thought Callie was my favorite because she, because she can be out of control, but. especially in the earlier shows. And I love a woman who'll lick my ass. Without her there, you had to do less reeling in and really let us know, get to know you better. By the way, your brother is a dick. 
<laughs> oh my god i think you're smart and really funny but not in a i'm drunk and my pussy is leaking sort of way more in a dr stacy um, sort of way oh jeff in chicago i love you i don't since other shows are stealing your man on the street segment i thought i'd give you some new segment ideas <clears throat> rob's oh, rants what happened to my microphone oh it fell down it went down by the way, I'm totally sober. <laughs> okay. Go on. So this guy, Jeff, has some good ideas. He wants an oh, evil no. twins of Dr. Stacy and Callie, which I like. I like that one, too. How about a quick weekly segment called How to Get a Blowjob? It could be a quick one or two, li- one or two liner. For the record, I record. I just uh, sounded like a New York <laughs> For the job. record. For the record. Let me go on. I'm going to talk about this like a New Yorker mm. now. For the record, I broke off an engagement partly because my fiance wouldn't give me a BJ very often. Hey, oh. And when she did, she'd be bitching about it. I got more if you want to hear them. Anyway, love the show. And don't let the haters get to you. Jeff in Chicago. Uh, Jeff, we love... Uh, well, I love you. Clearly. Thank so, you. thank you for Anyone your Anyone who advice. compliments Stacey and strokes her ego, <laughs> she's about to spread her legs for you. Don't be a douche. All right. I like being a douche. Here's another email. Hey, TP, ladies, and possibly Bruno. Loving the new episode. Huh? Huh? Me? First? Mm-hmm. And Bruno. Lo- awesome. I may as well just not even be here. Yep. Loving the new episodes, mm-hmm. even though the Angry Bird clips were hard to listen to again. You want more? I got more. Yeah. See, they're all reacting. They're just emailing not anything they can just to not hear Angry Bird. Nice. I thought I'd send you a question as a guard against more. Cool. <laughs> I think they can read me. Huh? This is from Nathan. Hey, Nate. During then. sex or right afterward, has anyone ever said something to you that has ended the relationship? Looking forward to more podcasts. <clears throat> Enjoy your day, Nathan. This is an awesome question. It is. Is that Nathan? My Nathan? Nathan Barrio. Oh, wow. How quickly he forgot about me. <laughs> <laughs> he Dick. mentioned me first. And I was said. visiting his state, California. Fuck you. I'm <laughs> done with you. It's, we're, having a, we're having a Twitter breakup. Oh, you're saying something about how the two of you love and care for each other. Who is that? And for the most part, people do have Who a traditional it? wedding, which is in a church, whether you whether you believe in it or not. Should I know this? Who is that? Do you know who that is? Sure. Who is it? It's who is it? It's Angry Bird. Mm. She's so angry. Did we, her and I get into a fight over that one? Because I feel like she claimed that I, like, fought with her on that one. But I feel like I was on the same page with her. I guess I should listen. I don't remember. Oh, fuck her. She wasn't very nice to me last time I saw her either. You, both of you, it was like a fucking, um... No, just recently. We yeah, like I know. Like, it was like a goddamn, like... Why does she have to start with me, Iceberg though? was in between It's you. like she What did she start, do? How she did she? something. What did she say to me? Yeah. Oh, well, first of all, I offered her wine when she's... In recovery, I forgot. <laughs> so okay, <laughs> okay. So, so that, there's that. But there no. But there really was something else where she like got on me about something again. I don't remember that. Yeah, she did. And I went outside and I smoked a cigarette. I walked out. Don't you? Oh fuck, I can't remember. Well, I do remember you two giving each other really nasty looks. Yeah. Is there like sexual tension between her and I? I hope not. Uh, I hope not. Please too. no. Please no no no. Don't. I wouldn't. No. But <laughs> she did say something. She was like kind of rude and obnoxious to me. All right, I got to ask my, my... Well, I know we were talking about my brother. No, there was something else. I'm going to ask my friend. All right, All right Nathan. Mm-hmm. To get back to your email, yes, um, I did have intercourse with somebody, and then right afterwards, they broke up with me. Because... Really? They believed that the intercourse was uh, too intimate, and they couldn't handle really? the intimacy. Really? So, who else wants to share? No one ever broke up with me. Oh, what? You're talking about immediately after? I know, yeah. I, I mean, I'm talking within 24 hours after. I mean, I'm talking about the next morning. Mm-hmm. What about you? Hmm. Too numerous to mention. So it's happened to you? Oh, yeah. They've dumped you? Fuck yeah. Well, has anyone ever done something during intercourse? I, this might come shocking to you. I've never dumped a human being in my life. Oh, Jesus Christ. Really? Really. I, um, I'm trying to think. I don't really recall... I mean, I'm sure maybe there was when I was younger, but I just don't remember. Like having sex and then the next day not like something terrible. Excuse me. Usually it happens during sex. I'm like, I'm never going to call this person again. I actually was dating some guy once and everything was perfect. 
Of course it was. In Stacy's world. It was. It was amazing. Most romantic meals and like wonderful conversation. And then we had intercourse and the intercourse wasn't so awesome. And then I never called again. Really? Oh, shit. Wait, I have a story. Okay. Oh, do you have music for this? Dun, no. dun, dun, dun. Nobody writes music for bum, me. Bum, bum, bum. Fucked a chick like three times in one night. She woke up in my living room. The clothes were all over the place. She looked at me and said, we didn't do anything, did we? <gasps> and then pretended like she didn't remember. <gasps> pretended? Or, what, or was she maybe high? No, no. She just kept saying, I can't believe it. You, you must think I'm a whore. I, I'm sorry. I, I can't. We, we we really did? Oh, really? Really? I said, yeah, three times. A week went by, and then I met a person who, I'm not going to say her name. Becca. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then this chick calls me up wanting to hang out again. And I said, well, you know, I started seeing somebody else. No. And then she started calling me asshole and jerk and everything. And I said, you didn't even remember the next day. What are you getting mad at me for? Yeah. That's my life. There you go. Mm, There's my story. You have such crazy checks. Yeah, I do. What? And now she comes to all my, my Jesus Christ Poe shows. Can you please point her out? And she's like my best friend now. Really? Yeah, it's, it's not my best friend, really, <laughs> but, but I mean, she like, talks. Oh, hey, how you doing? Can you take a picture? How you doing? Oh, yeah. I want to see me and my friends. Uh, I need to know who this is. Mm. All right. Mm. Here's mm. one last email. Mm. Okay. This is from Tim. For those that don't know, a new reality show called The Virgin Diaries is on TLC that follows virgin couples up to a certain large point of their relationship. For one couple, the point was marriage. The guy is 31 years old and the woman is 27, and of course, they're both self-proclaimed virgins. That in itself is pretty strange, but I suppose it's understandable how or why that might happen. What's stranger, and you'll see in this video I sent you, is that they waited for their wedding kiss to be their first kiss as a couple. I saw this online. Really? I know you agree that the first kiss will tell you how well a relationship is going to go. So my question is, after watching the video, how long do you give them? Oh, and I'm sure with some digging, you can find the video of them talking about their thoughts on wedding night sex and other bedroom talk. Love the show and love you guys, Tim. So let's watch the video. Sunday. I'm 30 and I'm a virgin. I'm 29 and I'm a virgin. I'm not a virgin entirely by choice. We're saving our first kiss for our wedding. I now declare you to be husband and wife. Ryan, you may kiss your bride. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh! Virgin Diaries, an all-new special. Sunday at Ew! Only on TL- Ew! 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 It um, looks like, yeah, it looked like they were like disgusting. going to devour each other's faces. They look like horrible, horrible kissers. But they probably never kissed anyone if they waited to kiss each other on their wedding day. That They looked ho- <laughs> <laughs> That was really gross. It's like dolphins swimming. That was really the disgusting. I'm sorry. You know what? Seen. That's a problem. Like, I'm sorry. Like, in today's day and world with the World Wide Web, like, how do you not know how to kiss? <laughs> world Wide Web. <laughs> but it's like, seriously. The cool. internet should be helping the, people. It, but, um, okay. In all honesty, those two assholes <laughs> should have Googled that shit. If I, if I did not how kiss. How to kiss? How, why not? Yeah. They have videos for fucking everything. They have videos how to suck she, cock, she horse cock, cow cock, to cock dog cock. To be honest cock. with you, I was very nervous the first time I. I was in sixth grade. How old were you? Were you 30 something? When I first kissed? Married? Yes. Honestly, how old was I? Yeah, 16. You're a liar. No, I'm not. That's not normal. Okay. True that, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go on. Because. <laughs> I remember. But I was good. Uh, Of course you were, because you're perfect. (laughs) Uh, Okay, so this guy, our thoughts? I mean, yes, I I have a phenomenal ass, obviously. (laughs) I think a kiss determines a lot of how. Perfect tits, perfect ass, perfect kisser. No, I'm not a perfect... I, I think that a kiss determines a lot about a relationship. And I think the guys that have been the most incredible kissers... I have. I find I have the most connect, sexual connection with. Like you can't say goodbye to them, even though you know you should. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. That's what I do. That's <laughs> my job. I think. I mean, we talked. Okay, about assholes. We got it. We, we got, got it. Wait, asshole. 
Don't link me well, into well, the category. You brought it up, and he did the sound effect. So it's both of you. Okay. <clears throat> I've talked chemistry. about it a billion times before on the show. Kissing is so important. I don't agree with those two knuckleheads. <laughs> like, honestly, how do with you wait? With their tomfoolery. No, but it's like, yes. <laughs> Such shenanigans. <laughs> really? But sir, Someone's really? Someone's going to lose an eye. Bonkers. I, I will call, go bonkers. I call bullshit on, and I call bullshit on TLC for even promoting that bullshit. I'm sorry. You, that's hogwash. I don't know, but I can't. <laughs> no, but like, really, think about it, guys. Come on. <clears throat> the reality is, a kiss will make or break a relationship. That no, no, no. I don't really mean like that. But when you go on that first date and you have that first kiss. It's either there or it's not there. I dated a guy who every time he kissed me, he did this, and then I'll explain to the listeners. Ew, ew! You look like a little lizard or a frog. <laughs> he would have to moisten his lips. Oh my god, you were so wet. Probably not in your pussy. It was, and I'm like, stop it, stop it. And he's like, I'm just so self-conscious that my lips aren't moist enough to kiss. And I'm like, just fucking <laughs> kiss me. Ew. But it became a habitual thing. And every time we'd go to kiss, he'd go, ew. Yeah. That's kind of disturbing. That's and annoying. And you would change colors at least, and adapt to his yeah, surroundings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you knew when you were about to get kissed. <laughs> Exactly. It's like you get a full blown warning. Exactly. Whoa, slow down. <laughs> like you see him across the room in a bar and all of a sudden he's licking his lips and the music and everything slows down and the crowd disperses and all of a sudden he's licking the lips. That's a good chapstick ad. Instead of <laughs> instead of being this guy in a bar, use chapstick. As I hold the chapstick. My chapstick. Your chapstick that I've been like like making love to. I don't my lips aren't even chapped, they're just dry. I feel like I need to drink more water. Get a little hydrated. Yeah, you probably... I had a lot of sex today. Okay. And last night. <laughs> okay. I think I lost too much fluids, and now I'm just drinking wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's amazing how wet I get. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do some Stacey shit, even though we're probably over. I can't remember why she went... She did, in all honesty, because our friend that was here that night, she said, yes, she did something to you. Mm-hmm. Which pissed me off, and I went and grabbed a cigarette and went outside, and I was, like, stewing outside. But you were angry... No, even... Anyway... The- about her being there. Yeah, but like she said something to me. We were sitting at the table and I was like, like, really? Like she was just obnoxious. It's like she does jabs at me. You know what the problem with her is? <laughs> she needs to love herself. She doesn't love herself. Or maybe she loves herself. Uh, you know what? And she's friends with my ex, which is kind of not my ex, whatever. One of my exes. She's talking about the angry bird, everybody. Yeah, I don't know. She just kind of bugs me. But then I like her sometimes. So I'm like, oh, she could be real. Why are you still playing this? I know she's your friend, but. This is Stacy shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was playing. <laughs> oh, oh, that was Stacey Shed? Yes. Oh, I should listen to the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing the other one. <laughs> I, can't. I can't. Bruno. Oh, all right. Three signs that you're about to cheat. This is by Tammy Nelson, who has her PhD in sex and relationships. You're dating me. <laughs> oh, boy. You haven't made love to your partner in weeks or even months. You find you avoid situations that could lead to sex. You lie to your partner and say you're tired or you have a headache. This could lead to the uh, signs that you're stressed, tired, ill, or that the relationship's disconnected. It could also be a sign that you're out the door or that you've been sick for a long time. <laughs> yeah, Don't like, you fucking I know. Me. I'm like, I, I'm judging you right now. You are, I'm because silent. I have not you. had intercourse in a while I because know. I've been ill. Okay. So don't even. All right. Hogwash that you haven't had. I, to hog- I, I absolutely want to bring hogwash back. Okay. I think it's a great word. Well, I like cockpit. Oh, I love cockpit. I used that recently to someone and they were like, we love it. Everyone needs to use yep, cockpit. Cock bag. Okay. Number two, you are on the internet trawling to meet other people. You find yourself looking up your old boyfriend or girlfriend on Facebook and sending them friend requests. Oh, you look at dating sites for married people interested in anonymous sex. You download photos of sexual partners for hire. You masturbate to fantasies of other people you know more than you do with thoughts of your partner. This can indicate a wide variety of interests and a healthy sexual appetite. It can also be a sign that you're looking for sex outside of your marriage. Ooh, good gravy. <laughs> Ew, good gravy. Number. Th- oh, we're gonna throw that one out there. Or Number not. three. You're emotionally connected to someone other than your spouse in more important and intimate ways. She asked my ex this one. You tell them all of your per- problems and confess your dissatisfaction in your marriage to this outside person. You talk to them about your fantasies, your issues. 
You find that you text them and call them throughout the day. You think of telling them about your private thoughts instead of your spouse. You fantasize about them. You don't include them in dinners or outings with your spouse. You don't kid, don't kid yourself that you have a friendship that's closer than the one with your spouse. That you don't have a friendship. Emotional affairs may many times lead to actual affairs. You may already be halfway there. Hmm. So those are the signs that you're headed to cheat. I believe that my ex had emotional affairs and sexual affairs, but I feel like emotional. I had emotional affairs towards the end of my marriage. Yeah. I mean, if your fu- your I needs mean, if aren't being fulfilled, right? Emotionally, you know, totally. Okay. The next thing is, um, they, recently there was an op-ed piece from Erica Zhang. Um, it was in the New York Times, and she's the 1970s uh, author of *Fear of Flying*. And she basically wrote um, that people, the kids today are over sex. Kids? Meaning, How old are the kids? I mean, I guess teenagers. Oh, okay. Over sex? Yeah. She Who's said basically that while mothers embrace the novelty of sexual freedom associated with the women's movement, young women today long for a more nostalgic Betty Draper-esque return to conservative sexuality, motherhood, and monogamy. The hell is Betty Draper? Yeah. Mad nice. Men? Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, Draper's husband, mm-hmm. her wife. Mm-hmm. Okay, so basically she says, while young women find real-life sex passe, they are increasingly finding other ways to sate their sexual desires. According to the author, the tidal wave of the one-click sexual gratification that technology affords has only added force to the pendulum swing away from real-life unbridled sexual passion. When the safe confines of our computers and smartphones, we've discovered a sterile way to have sex electronically. Electro- how? Yeah. By going online and masturbating oh. but to the porn, etc. What do you think about that? Electro- and so basically, the people are saying that this author is basing her observation from her 30-something friends who are far more likely to be removed from sexually liberated mentality of women's 20-something years. And I lost you. What do, why? Because you're on your phone? I just lost you after... Man meat. After internet porn. Why? Is your mind going elsewhere? Yeah. Is, are we saying that internet porn is a bad thing? No. We're just saying that nowadays... It's just so accessible? And that people in their 20s are not really having sex because it's like, fuck it. But it's don't too, we... Yeah. It's too much. It's too much shit going on. I, I kind of... I mean, but I feel like that all goes with the whole social media thing and, and, and the whole computer era of chill, of us... That we can't go out there and actually socialize like normal human beings because we all hide behind our devices, whether it be our iPhones, our Blackberries, our laptops, our com- like the whole nine. Like mm-hmm. I don't think I think I think we're fucking up all generations, future generations of of going out there and actually uh, but, socializing. All right, I'll be devil's advocate. I have to tell you, in this age of texting, I'm I, I'm a very social being because back in the day, I don't like phone calls. I don't like talking I know to people you don't. on the phone. Right. Because you and I text more than we talk. We don't talk on the phone. I always and tell I, that to my friends. I'm like, I don't talk to Cece at all on the phone. We don't talk. Because, we text. And if you ever want to talk to me, of course we talk. No, but I'm saying but, but we don't. But I am better at texting right. because I, I just love to, I would rather write than talk. It's just my nature. Right. So growing up, I was more socially um, sheltered. Because I didn't want to. Well, deal yeah. If with you just talking. had your first kiss at sixteen, Jesus Christ! All right, you, were you know, don't, you're such a whore. Uh-huh. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, but don't, you don't. But okay, so okay, that's your. So that's you, right? But how about a sixteen year old kid who's growing up in this era and only texting and hiding behind his computer? How is he learning social interaction? That is their social interaction. Okay, but like, what about when you go to a coffee bar because these kids are underage, or like whatever, and you. You don't know how to like approach someone. You don't think these kids are going to be fucked? I think they know. I mean, they're still going to school. Okay, what about they're this? still in right. social environment? Oh, no, no. Okay, go on. I'm sorry. You should be sorry. Ew, shit. <laughs> I'm going to slam my headphones on here. Bruno, you want to come back? <laughs> I'm Stop sure. it. <laughs> People who are in their mid 30s and unmarried aren't putting put off by the idea of sex because they're bored with it. It's because dating is exhausting and they've been doing it for the better part of two decades. Eventually, most of them would like to settle down with someone who understands them and doesn't annoy the shit out of them. (laughs) Do I annoy the shit out of you? So true. Young women today are are 
having just as much sex, if not more, than their liberated mothers did. But that's become the norm, not the exception to the rule. Liberated sex didn't stop being exciting. It just stopped being news. A lot more people paid attention to the space program when we were going to the moon for the first time. So that's what this person is saying. That, no, women are still having just as much sex. It's just not in the news. It's not like, oh, my God, women are liberated and right. having sex. Although Erica Jean says, no. They're not, because just back to what I was saying, the blowjob is out of style. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I liked that guy on Chips. He was cool. What? What guy on Chips? Eric Estrada? I said Eric Jean. Oh, oh. Asshole. <laughs> You're a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I have oh, one more article. Let's see if TP can fuck this one up. I can do anything. Fuck anything up. Do we owe, Apparently. Do we owe our spouses sex? No. Okay. I I, all I did was read the title. That's it. So why? <laughs> You don't have to owe. Oh, you want to give them it. It should be a want. Not an O. Not an O. Not a need. It should be a want. You want to give your spouse. You want to give your spouse pleasure because you want pleasure. Mm -hmm. It should be a mutual feeling. Mm -hmm. No, because if I was in a relationship and my spouse was making five times more than I was. Um, I was. I was. <laughs> or I was. Um, I shouldn't have to owe him anything. It should be that I want to give it to him. But when he has that mentality that I owe him something because he makes a higher salary than me. Then it becomes, uh, I don't want to fucking fuck him tonight. He can go fuck himself. Fuck him and his six-figure salary. I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to shove my fingers inside of my pussy. And he can go <laughs> masturbate downstairs on the computer with the World Wide Web. Good for the World Wide Web. World Wide Web. Sorry, go on. Okay. Well, um, recently, <laughs> recently, a woman in France sued her husband over failing to Shut pro up. provide sex. That's awesome. And the judge ruled in her favor. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Okay. The judge said that by getting married, couples agree to sharing their life, and this clearly implies that they will have sex with each other. What? What? Whether married for two years or 20, husbands and wives have the right to control their bodies, including abstaining. So that was the, the opposite side, saying that when you get married... You can also choose to abstain as well as have sex with your partner. Gotcha. The judge says no. Hmm. That you should be having sex. Oh, thank God. Isn't my this ex an interesting didn't read topic? This fucking article. Isn't this an interesting topic? And then the article goes on to say that, you know, it's easy for Why us to say. Why did she sue? There's like a lot. That's very, um, isn't that like deep? Like maybe there's like reasons why he doesn't want to have sex with her. Right. Maybe because she looks like Julia Childs or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Whoa, just, you Frenchist. I know. I don't know. What to, <laughs> I'm just like thinking about it. Like uh, without sexual chemistry, you don't have a relationship. Well, then they go on to say like after you have a baby, people like mothers will say, well, once the baby's a toddler, I'll be more sexual. Once the baby. I don't think that's fair either. No. No. So how would you feel if after three years you haven't been touched by the person you love? That's sad. That's really sad. I have a friend like that. Your self-esteem, et cetera, starts getting affected? That sounds... That, yeah, I know for a fact. One of my closest friends, one of my closest friends, she, um, she has been married 25 years, maybe 27 years. I don't even know. I remember about a year and a half ago, she was coming to me and she was really upset because she said that she just wants to be touched again. And not even so much in a sexual way. She just wants to be touched. She hasn't cuddled. had a hug. And I love you. Even like a verbal... Like to a 70-year-old man, they like to cuddle. True. <laughs> she just hasn't even been touched. A kiss on the cheek. A, like, I felt so bad for her. And to be really quite honest with you, she's like, I should just have an affair. Mm -hmm. I should just go out there and have, you know she's like she loved her husband she was sexually attracted she tried with him mm -hmm. she bought lingerie she would try to wow it sounds like me mm. oh with your ex mm -hmm. yeah same thing like and she they went on a trip she wound up saying look we need to go away we need a vacation mm -hmm. and they went to Puerto Rico and it worked, mm -hmm. but not for long. It wasn't a, it wasn't a long term plan, I guess, because now they're back to it again, where she hasn't been touched in about six months. And a lot of people cite that mm -hmm. as a reason for divorce. I would. I mean, I mine was reversed. I mean, I think my ex would. If you were, if my ex was on the show, he would probably tell you that I didn't touch him enough. Well, he yeah, because he required a lot. more. He required a lot more. So the question really is: is yeah, I mean, there is there has to be a happy medium, right? Not giving your spouse anything when you want it so bad. I mean, I don't understand. Right. Go to therapy. Do you know? something. Do something about it. Have your balls cut off. Have your vagina stapled. 
Right. I don't know what that means. Just thought I'd throw it out there. You okay? It's a good, it's a good holiday ending, though. I want to be merry. Why did you bring <laughs> us down? Okay, here I'm going to cheer you up. Are you I ready? Want, I want a Christmas to song. end the show. You going to sing Christmas song? Are you ready? Are you ready, Jeff? Mm-hmm. Here we go. I just want to another one. Again? No, it's different. This is the coal miser. Oh, I'm Mister White Christmas. I'm Mister Snow. You can play like deck the halls nope. with balls and pussy. Don't you love this? I think uh, my in my crotch. Much. What do you say? <laughs> Who would you bang? Snow miser or heat miser? Heat miser because of his hair. You like but gingers? Got the, <laughs> he's got the big nose. That might come in handy. I would just snow because it looks like he's Jewish. Do you like the Jews? I do like the Jews. And look, there's your ex-boyfriend. The I know. I only had one. Would you ever do a gangbang, midget gangbang? No. I will never touch a midget again. It's off the bucket list. I crossed that one out. All right, guys. Enjoy. Goodbye. Happy holidays. Enjoy happy shopping and sweaty balls. <laughs>
from here The woods are coming out all weird Where are you now? 